Welcome, this video explains how to make best use of the simulation panels and widgets in the Pickaxe Programming Editor. Open the Pickaxe Programming Editor and you will see the options window open up by default. In this section you can choose from the drop down list which pickaxe you will be working with. After you have made the selection the unique pickaxe identifiable number will show up. For example a pickaxe OID M has markings on the actual chip label 12F683. Click on the serial port tab. This will show which port is allocated for your programming or you can select your programming port from here. Flowchart. You can select options here if you are selecting a flowchart method of programming. Language tab. By default it is set to English but there are other options you can look at. color tape. You can set different color options for your programming for your program here. For example, comments appear in green by default, but you can change it to any other color by clicking on the tab. Editor. Two most important things to select here are check the box for rep long lines and the header. You can edit the header options to your likeness and each time you open a new programming window this header will be displayed by default. Be sure to save this once you have edited it. Simulation tab. You can check the boxes for which items you want to be turned on for simulation. You can also determine the simulation speed here. There is also a drop down pin list onto which your LCD is connected. By default it is to zero. Explorer tab. You can sort all your labels, constants and variables here. Once finished, click on apply button then OK. This part introduces you to the shortcut keys. Press the F1 key. The F1 key opens up the syntax window. On the left hand side are all the commands that Pickax accepts. In the middle section, this shows which Pickax is compatible with that command. A green box beside a Pickax means that that particular command can be used with that pickaxe. A dark green box indicates that the command is not compatible with that pickaxe. On the upper right hand corner, the syntax for the command is given. Right below Right below it is a short description of that command. And finally, if you want help, click on Detail Helps, uh, Help and Examples. This will open up the Pickaxe Manual too. In here, you can find all the detail examples and uh, program codes and structures. The F4 key. This opens up text window and the memory used. This is similar to the spell check that you use on the word document.
the F5 key. This downloads your program to your hardware. Currently my hardware is not connected. The F6 key. This opens up the debug window. This shows all the bytes and word variables. You can use this when debugging uh, analog sensors like LDR and thermistor and other variables. The F8 key. This opens up the serial terminal window. I will go over this uh, a little bit in detail later. The F9 key. This opens up the data link window. You can plot graphs of up to four sensors here. To learn more about how to use this, click on the help tab and read the PDF that opens up. This PDF is a guide to using the data link program. Using simulations in the project. Scroll down the simulation panel. There are about 7 simulation panels. For this video I am going to select the DICE simulation panel. I will now open up a program that I have already written down and use this simulation. Click on the simulation button. You should see a simulating dice window open up. The input pin 3 which is the push button can also be played around with. Go ahead and try the other simulation panels that are available. The analog sensor calibration. Click on the pickaxe step on the toolbar and scroll down to the analog sensor calibration. There are three options here. Read, read ADC, read temp and touch sensor. Touch sensor normally works with 18M2 and higher pickaxe uh, chip. If your hardware is connected, you can directly test your sensors here. The pickaxe wizard. Click on the pickaxe terminal toolbar and scroll down to the wizards. Under the ringtones, you can create your own ringtones by choosing the duration, note, octave, and the tempo. Put in another note, select the second line and repeat. You can also select the combination of LEDs that will flash with the music you create. You can directly copy your new tune to the programming editor. This will appear as a clipboard. Wizards Pulse Width Modulation You can use the Pulse Width Out Wizard to control the Pulse Width Modulation 
on the top left hand corner will be displayed up will be displayed how many pulse width pins are, are present in a particular pickaxe you can also easily calculate the frequency and the duty cycle for 08m there is only one pulse width modulation available which is on pin 2 Serial LCD C Grim. This is a more advanced user panel where once you have placed a C Grim character, it widens the limiting scope and opens the door for, for special characters and vertically scrolling text on screen. Refer to this website for more information. There is a sample program as well. Data logger wizard. This is again a more advanced simulation panel. It will generate an automatic code once all the sensors, memory, and outputs are configured. O8M does not accept this. The Decta Visio. This panel allows you to create the desired LED pattern with time delay options. Visit this website for more information on Decta Visio. It is all about badges and how light sequences are made. Other simulation panels. Using the LCD simulation panel, by writing an appropriate code, you can see the serial LCD simulated. You have an option of selecting 16x2, 20x2 or 20x4 character displays. Serial output buffer simulation panel. This displays the string of characters on the serial output buffer. In this one, you have to put you have to input the text from the keyboard. If the text that you input is correct, it will display a message. If not, you will have to retype until the correct input key is pressed. This is basically sending text to your pickaxe. memory window this shows the EEPROM memory used each of the numbers you see displayed are the ASCII characters for example in the string of characters hello H is number 72 E is number 101 L is number 108 O is number 111 and the space is 32 and so forth. And finally, the simulation window. This shows the pickaxe and its pins and displays according to the written program when the output or input is high or low. When expanded, it can also display the byte, word, and variables. It also displays the pins and the directories used in binary form.